everybody so today is Monday and we're here at Tommy's uh, shop which is Top Flight Tommy or Top Flight Fab on Instagram and we're here today because we're gonna help them take apart the rear end of the truck so we can start messing with the fabrication so here's the shop Alright, so what I ended up doing right now was I took off the bolts off the tonneau cover up there. Right now I'm going to take off the shocks and then remove the tonneau cover. Hey Tommy, you want to help me real quick? Okay, so battery box is out and I just ended up removing the bolts that retain the fuel filter and the fuel pump. I also removed the douche, I, I don't know honestly how to say it, but douche, douche connector, where so I disconnected that, these are going to come out together and all we have left is unbolt the fuel cell from the bed remove a couple of fuel lines and yank it up. We should be good. Whoops. 
All right, guys. So my dumbass forgot to press play or record, but. So what your stuff is gonna be? From the one, from the zero, to the two foot. That's gonna be what? That's how wide the subframe is. You measure from, from the zero to the two foot mark. That's what we can learn. Okay. Oh shit. So. Yeah. So this side is the one that's actually bent. That one's actually in the middle over there. So we can put your fuse now from the four inch mark this way and it will land right behind the subframe. But as high as possible. So you can't see it from the back and then it's still running the fuser under it. So we could even put a diffuser off the fuel cell brackets. I'll be badass. Yeah, and then we'll just want a giant fucking cock on it. <laughs> That's a signature move. Yeah. <laughs> It'll look like a like a baby's arm holding an apple. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah. And then what are you gonna do with the rest of Oh uh, right. so carefully and neatly, all this in the back is gonna go to the trash. How about the towers, uh, the bed? Are we keeping this well, one? Only the front ones. Okay. We'll make a... Go. In the, in the truck scene, we call it a drive shaft loop. We'll go here, up and over, and then that one. Okay. And then that'll be our main structure. Um, make plates, and then work off of that. So it'll be real minimal back here. We'll lose a lot of weight. And we'll just push it about the tender, dude. So it's gonna look like that. Like that Chevy. It's uh, Mr. Luigi from SA Trucks. I like it. What? Oh, yeah, so for those of you that don't know, uh, I think I mentioned it in the other video. Yeah, I did. I made a video about this. So the welds, or I welded on some flares, but what you guys haven't seen is I actually installed the foreigner dash. Let me get my flashlight real quick. Hold up. All right, guys. So before I leave, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm like out of words right now. I'm tired. I just want to go home and rela relax. I've been here since the morning. So, uh, beam swap. You can't really see it, but I got to mess with the fuel system. I'm going E85. I'm going to save up for a couple parts for the turbo, but the turbo is not going to go on uh, anytime soon. What is going to go on is going to be the flex fuel, but yeah. The 400 dash is in. Everything out the bed is done. The bed is officially off, and now I could leave it up to Tommy. He explained on what he's gonna do. But yeah, I'm excited for this, but I'm hella tired. So as for today, that's that's all I'm recording today. I'm gonna go home, take a shower. I'm gonna be stuck in traffic for a while, but I'm beat. So for now, it's just clean up, make sure I didn't leave anything on the floor and pick up my tools, put them in my car, take off. But yeah, here's my cell frame. For those that don't know, I'm running Voodoo 13, uh, toe arm, caster arm, and camber arm. And then Voodoo, I think the Voodoo, I'm not too confident, but it has the Infinity J30 axles on it, or the axle hubs, or stubs. And then I will be running dual caliper, but I'll be using dual uh, single pot, the stock S13 caliper, so I could still rock the 15s. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn excited about this. Ooh. my love and joy too much work 
All right, guys. Thanks for going this far into the video. I want to thank you guys because those of you that have followed me from the very beginning, you guys have seen the struggle with this truck. On top of that, I want to thank you guys for those that have purchased any type of merchandise or any type of decals. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to keep supporting the build, just the build itself. Again, I'm not making money off of it. Uh, I'm gonna put the link down below. I have a lot of merch out there. So if you wanna support, go ahead and cop one. If you don't, then just put a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, and that's more than enough. So as of now, thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys in tune on the next time when I come. Later y'all.